Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and coffee. It's my Hocus Pocus mug. I use them year round. I love these Ray Dunn for the size. And just a heads up, I've been taking a pottery class. If you follow me on Instagram or uh, on our Facebook group, links are below. I've been showing some of my pottery. So I just took a three week course for a beginner class at this studio that I'm gonna to go to. And then on Sunday, Saturday, Sarah, my niece and I signed out for level two and they promised me I would get to make a mug in level two pottery. Um, and that starts in April and that'll be on Monday night. And I can't wait. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Okay, hold on to your hat, folks, because I found a Dollar Tree Plus in my area. I know. So, and I just stumbled upon it. I was over by my work, because I go in the office now, <laughs> and um, I'll talk and clean my glasses. There's a Dollar Tree around the corner. I hadn't been there in a while. I'm like, oh, I'll run in after work because I was on my way to get my hair cut. And my hairdresser happens to be the Dollar Tree's between where I go and where I was. Perfect. So I stopped at the Dollar Tree and they were, it's only two aisles right now. And it had only been there one week. But I'm going to show you what I bought. Um, and then I talked to one of my other stores that I went to this morning and she said they are going to become a Dollar Tree Plus. It's a very large store, the one I went to this morning. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited. So I'll show you what I purchased. Um, and I'll tell you how much. So what they had in was just mostly craft stuff and a few electronics, but that was pretty wiped out. Um, I got this for $5. It's just um, a metal thing, bucket. I will most likely put a plant in it or set a plant in it or in the fall some mums or something. I love this size. It's like a wash bucket. And it was $5 and I think it's everything. So I grabbed that. Um, we'll start with the, I found, ooh, Sorry, things are spilling. Paint, they have the bigger canvas. So this was $3. It is a 12 inch circle stretched canvas. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but it's gonna be something fun. I mean, you could do anything with it. It's round and I love that it's round. And it's just a plain white stretched canvas. Um, for those of you that like to take the canvases apart and do things, it's got a fairly substantial base to it. If you want to rip it off and then paint that and then put something in here, make it look all rusticy, they have those. Now, the other canvas I got, which I'm dying, is a 16 by 20. It is also $3, also stretched canvas. Fun fact, I bought one of these two Christmases ago and I had to paint it black because I have white words and I have another set of the white words and I'm gonna make it for my niece, Sarah, probably for her house. I love it. It says, uh, believe in the magic of Christmas. And then I put some greenery up here and I hang it on my wall and it's a substantial size to have a seasonal painting and it already, it's done. I already have the, um, Cricket words, what I will need to do is cover this in Mod Podge and then get the words to stick and then Mod Podge it again. I know. So we got that for $3. And let me tell you, they had them in white too. Um, Hello. This is an ultra thin portable light pad. We're going to look at this together. It was $5. Now, I know it's for like tracing and drawing and stuff. However... Cricut sells one of these, a light box for um, I don't 
No, maybe I think it's something I didn't think it was. I thought it was a light up. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. You have to plug it in. Um, Cricut sells something very similar to this, but much more expensive, that you can put, if you're weeding your Cricut, um, like on a dark color or intricate and you can't see, you can lay it on here. It will light up from below and you can see where the Cricut, um, the cuts are. So we're going to see if that will work. Also for tracing. I mean, this I think is going to be a very handy crafting tool. They're showing it. Well, actually, they do show it for, yeah, they show it for weeding as well. For That's vinyl, and they're using a hook tool, and then for tracing. So instead of spending um, upwards of $60 on this device, you can find it at the Dollar Tree Plus for $5.00. And quite frankly, all you need is some light. Like that's the important thing is backlighting. So there's many uses for this in crafting. And it's so small, it just has, takes up very little space. It's 13.1 by 9.2 inches. So it will, it will do the trick. I'm gonna keep it in this little box so it doesn't get ruined. But I can see many a uses. Let's do our thumbnail. Oh wait, should I do this? I never know what to do with my hands. That's good. Many uses for that in the future. Because you know I like to do crafts. Okay. Just a few more things. Um, hello. Light sets. Like what? $5. So fun fact, I have a bay window here where this light's coming from. And I love to hang lights in that bay window. And I have them set on a timer. So in the evening they go on and it just lights up that whole window and it's so pretty. Plus it makes people think I'm home if I'm not. Well, the bulbs that I, or the lights I have currently hanging up there are glass Christmas bulbs and they're big. So it's the same uh, concept as this. These are a bistro light. Um, I sh opened the window one day and broke one of them. So I needed a replacement anyway. Also, on my front porch, I like to hang them over my front door. If I have garland or something up there or greenery or just lights, when I turn on my front porch light, it gives it a little more light. So I grabbed two sets because they're $5 and that is very reasonably priced. I just hope they work. And I will tell you what I do like about it, and some folks may not, is it is um, plastic. Now it is brown, which actually is fine for me. Um, and the bulbs are plastic. And what they are is just a Christmas light with a plastic, which is, again, fine for me. So I can't wait to hang these up, and I'm sure they work. I mean, why wouldn't they? So I grabbed two of those because I feel like even though the stuff was only in stock, and it was like craft stuff, a little outdoor things, they had some like cooler bags for the beach, they had those tall signs and they had some cleaning product and some electronic stuff, but most of that was already wiped out. So I feel like until they get, it's going to be like the regular cool Dollar Tree stuff that is just going to be wiped out most of the time. I happen to have lucked into that store and found the crafting stuff. Um, speaking of, and I know I'm very late to this game, but I just got a Dollar Tree plus the resin kit. So this is an AB kit or a one, two kit, they call it. So you mix your A and your B together. It's, um, and you pour it into a silicone mold and you make resin pieces. And so I got the little mixing cups for $3 and the resin was $5. So you have to do equal measurements. And I thought, well, this cups will be great because they have the measurements on the side. I do need to grab, well, actually I do have a little spatula that I got for makeup application, which I didn't ever plan on using for makeup application. I'll use it for this. Silicone, it won't stick to. But so I don't, I've heard some mixed reviews on this, but again, I'm gonna try it. They also had, and I didn't buy it because I have no need in my life, but the little dealy that you can put the metal cups on and it turns. And then you do the uh, resin. Yeah, I'm not getting into it that much. I just wanted to make maybe some keychains or something. Um, and so I grabbed 
just some fun glitter. This is just chunky. They had all different varieties, but this is like the pink red. And it was $3 for chunky glitter to put in the resin. So you can mix it or drop it or whatever. And then you'll get, it'll be in the encapsulated in your resin. So I thought, well, I have to go online and order some um, keychain, some keychain resin molds. So you do the mix, 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 and then you pour it in. And also I probably need like a lighter or a heat gun or something to break the bubble. I think people were using just like this lighter. You just need to heat the top a little bit and it will pop the bubbles. And then you let it sit for 24 hours and then it has to cure probably a little longer after you pop it out. But yeah, I'm going to make some keychains. I don't know why that sounds fun. I found this um, fun thing, I cannot tell if it works or not. It doesn't seem to work when it's inside of this metal deal. This light goes on when it's out here, right? Oh, maybe not. Well, it's a solar light. I'm going to hang it outdoors. I have a hook that I also will hang a plant from, but I will hang this as well. And technically, it's a solar light, and so... It will go on and off. But even if it doesn't, I just think that is really fun. And this was $5. I know, right? And then I got one last thing. And again, haven't tried this. But I was very intrigued by this mini iron. What? So like I said, they have all the craft stuff. I need to get into this. We're going <laughs> to... This tool is what I use to measure if my plants have enough water. Fun fact, did not get this at the Dollar Tree, but it's called the moisture. It's like a moisture almond, and you plunk it into your plants, and it tells you how much moisture is in their soil. So if I need to water, I have a lot of succulents. Nobody asked, but I thought I would share. So, okay, this is adorable. It's this little tiny iron, and then you plug it in. You know, obviously you have to attach the plug. There is no on off switch. You, and I don't even think you can put water or anything. There's a little light over here that tells you that it's on and when it's heated up. So you just do your little craft ironing if you don't have room or want a big iron or quite frankly, I'm sure you could travel with this. Um, yeah, and it's got the, the little metal plate and then you can just iron. I thought it was adorable. And um, again, they're trying to bring us Cricut products, you know, that are not as expensive. This was $5, $3, $5. I do enjoy that they have the price printed on the package. My neighbors here. That's everything I have for you today. And I will talk with you later.